I'm a capitalist. Eh? Uh, this is not socialism. Let, uh, if those people uh, want to buy this property, let them come around with their checkbook and let them buy it for a recreational area. Uh, they have no right to tell me what to do, and, and I'll fight the state, the federal government, or anybody else. I want to preface my remark by saying that this is strictly my opinion. But after meeting with the gentleman in New York and in Texas and so forth, it is my personal opinion that if we do not get the plant on Guimas Island, it will not go in the state of Washington. It's the position of this committee that uh, the San Juan Islands are no place for heavy industry. Well, I believe it'll be good for the whole area, the county, and Guimas, Anacortes, our young people, everybody. I think it's really a first time in our life we'll be a real asset to the Skagit County. What about the objections that you're going to uh, deprive the island of its scenery and uh, make it tough on beach home residents and other permanent residents? I think actually these people are worried about something that doesn't exist. I doubt if our permanent population will increase very many. I think most of the workers will live in town. And I see no reason why an aluminum plant will interfere essentially with the beach property because it's privately owned and privately controlled and although we'll have more traffic on our roads, I don't think it will affect the beach property at all or very little at least. There, there's there been some sentiment uh, expressed about possible fallout from this plant. Well, according to my information, it's a process developed by the University of Washington and has practically, well, over 95% recovery in the scrubbing process. So uh, we're assured there won't be any pollution, to, uh, very, very little. There hasn't been an Italco, for instance been very clean. I think they're so sick of people where they live that they come up here they don't want to see any people. That's my opinion. <laughs> I just I don't I don't know. I like people. I like children, I like kids, that's why I'm a teacher. And I think these people are just sick and tired of people and that's why they want the aluminum plant to stay away because they think that if a aluminum plant comes in, there'll people that'll come and 
and they'll uh, their little private bit of heaven will be destroyed. That's my opinion. Won't that be true to some extent if the plant comes? Well, it, it's it's true, but in this life you pay for what you get, and if you don't want it, of course you don't want to pay for it. But I think we'll get far more with a plant coming than we'll lose by its coming. I think it'll be a real asset to this country, in this area. What about this uh, Save the San Juans? Uh, do you subscribe to the theory that Guaymas is not a San Juan Island? Well, it never has been until the committee was formed. But uh, I don't think it matters. The, the San Juans are known nationally. Guimas was never heard of until the Northwest Aluminum Plant decided to come here. And they couldn't fight Save Guimas because nobody gives a hoot about Guimas. And they they want to save their own private little bailiwick, the little piece of ground that they sit on, I think. What are your people doing, the people who are promoting the, bringing the plant here? Trying to get the truth to the people uh, of what this thing actually is. Uh, they came out and said it was 102 to 2. Well, that's not true. It, it just wasn't. Uh, most of the registered voters on this island are in favor of the plant. And there's quite a few that are neutral. And a very few, it's a minority that's against it, in my opinion. What would you like to see the community, the residents of Guaymas Island, do now? I'd like to see them work together. And I'd like to see us put part of this as industrial as it could or should be, and then to actually zone the, in the residential and the recreational area, and then all of us work together to, to keep it that way, so that a person was safe in knowing that the industry wouldn't encroach upon his land in later, later years. We looked a long time for some place where we could uh, uh, be not too far from the big city and yet be removed from the city. We, in fact, we covered Camano and Whitby and uh, many other places, but getting off on an island like this was an opportunity to get away from things. That was really the reason for coming here. So uh, I don't know. It's... Uh, uh, it just breaks into things that way. We like the idea that the uh, the people of Guimas Island are able to roll up their carpet and at six o'clock at night when the last ferry leaves. And we're we're not desirous of any additional ferries. What about the water situation? The people in Anacortes who are promoting this plant say they'll solve your water problems. Well, yeah, you're not going to get anything for free. I don't think that uh, anybody ever did. Uh, uh, we had a couple of shallow wells here at the time, and uh, they didn't give us adequate water, so we drilled, and we now have all the water we could ever want. So that's a problem you can solve yourself. If they bring you water, it's going to be just like the improvements in the city. You're going to pay for them. Pay for them, and you think maybe a little more? Oh, quite a little bit more from my experience in um, in these big developments of uh, metro in the city and things of that kind. It's uh, uh, We like to stay kind of countryfied and out away from it all. Ms. Bush, what's, uh, what's been your feeling about this since it began? Well, I feel that this, uh, this transcends all personalities, all uh, anything of that nature. It's much more important to preserve the island uh, for posterity, the future generations, and uh, some place for w uh, people to come and relax, which is necessary in this day and age with all the hustle and bustle and, and uh, uh, high uh, 
pressure that they men are under, and it's it's relaxing to come to a quiet spot. And we like love it. You'd like to keep it this way. I would love to keep it this way. Would you mind if they put the plant on some other San Juan Island? No, no, a thousand times no. Just uh, just keep them pure. That's my feeling. Alan, from a young man's standpoint, uh, you're engaged in with your father here on in ranching. Uh, what do you feel about the plan? Well, naturally, I'm uh, I'm not uh, in favor of uh, the plant here. I came here uh, uh, to uh, uh, interested in uh, raising cattle and uh, living in a, a quiet atmosphere, and uh, this is what I intend to do. I uh, uh, I'm not uh, uh, for this aluminum company at all or for any kind of industry on this island. There are plenty of places elsewhere for something such as this. Mr. Mackey is an Anacortes banker, chairman of the Chambers Industrial Committee here. Uh, you're familiar with the company, Northwest Aluminum. Uh, yes, I am. There have been a lot of questions. What is Northwest Aluminum? Well, it's a new corporation that uh, has been organized. I understand that they filed for their corporate papers in the state of Delaware. Basically composed of Texas Aluminum, Bell Intercontinental Corporation, and Uwada Steel, a Japanese company. There have been comments that this is entirely a paper uh, organization. This is a paper company, and it's going to live on credit to get started. Well, you're a banker. What about that? <coughs> we were assured uh, in our visits to uh, Texas and then to New York and with uh, Bell Intercontinental and Texas Aluminum and so forth that this is not the case. Uh, we didn't go into great detail as to the setup of the thing, however, we're well assured that, that, that certainly it is not just a paper corporation, that there will be heavy capital investment by the in individuals. You've talked to some of the principals in the Northwest Aluminum. What assurances uh, have been made as far as uh, technology and the prevention of air pollution and uh, uh, the construction of a uh, pleasing site? Well, we visited the Texas Aluminum plant. Uh, it is well buffered. The total acreage is used, utilized probably at least half of it for buffer zones around the plant. So with uh, this in mind that this is the type of operation they run, we are well assured that they will run the same type of operation over here. As to pollution, we are assured that this will be the most modern, uh, most pollution-free plant that it is possible to establish and create today. One of the uh, subsidiary firms of uh, Texas Aluminum is, in, in fact, engaged in the uh, manufacture of certain air pollution preventatives, is it not? Well, I believe it's a but subsidiary firm of, or a wholly owned subsidiary of Equity Corporation, who is the parent corporation of Bell Intercontinental. And this subsidiary firm is in the business of manufacturing pollution control equipment. They're renowned in their field and have developed uh, and researched to the point that it is, will be the most modern facility available. Well, the Port of Anacortes, of course, was originally contacted by the company to uh, help uh, seek a site uh, with the proper specifications, deep water uh, requirements. Uh, they were also interested in our existing facilities uh, that they might uh, be able to utilize those. So you have been working with the company for several months then? Uh, approximately 10 months uh, was the, ago was the initial contact. Are there no other, this question has been asked several times, are there no other deep water sites in the immediate vicinity that would have all the other attributes necessary? 
Uh, there are no other uh, deep water sites in the Anacortes area that would provide uh, the approximately 750 acres of reasonably flat land adjoining uh, 60 foot of uh, draft and a protected harbor. We are opposed to this location of the plant on Guaymas Island for the simple reason that we think that the San Juans is no place for heavy industry. Uh, the, the island that I speak of, Guaymas Island, is uh, one on which I have a summer cabin and uh, like many people enjoy the peaceful and quiet atmosphere there. Uh, to, to suggest uh, that uh, it would be converted to heavy industry was the remotest thing that uh, anyone could have thought of earlier. However, uh, it, it has been suggested, and it has been suggested that, uh, for example, the zoning uh, of Guaymas Island, which is now entirely residential, would have to be changed to heavy industry, a most radical change. Uh, we feel that uh, changes of this kind could affect the rest of the San Juans, which, uh, like Guaymas, have uh, deep, deep water access and are reasonably closely uh, related to the mainland, and uh, some of them have a considerable amount of flat area. We feel that it would be a grave mistake uh, to convert one or any of the San Juan Islands to uses for which they were, uh, as far as one can tell, uh, naturally endowed by nature, and namely for recreational purposes. Now, it's a, a curious uh, combination of circumstances that's led to this, it seems to me, uh, when uh, there are alternative sites available. We don't stand in the way, or we don't wish to stand in the way, of Anacortes' development or Skagit County's development or uh, the development of the whole state. But uh, when one takes a look at the atlas of uh, major industrial plant sites, which has been published by the Bonneville Power Administration, for example, one can find quite a variety of sites uh, with deep water access, with large acreage, and uh, <coughs> many of them, of course, already zoned industrial. For example, one might turn to Skagit County and find that the first site listed is located within Anacortes. It's a 500-acre site. It's uh, level. It's already zoned for heavy industry. Now, the suggestion is to use Guaymas Island to convert residential property, recreation property, to heavy industry. Here is already a, a, a deep water access, heavy industry zoned property. Uh, it's, it's only uh, by chance, apparently, that uh, the uh, uh, Anacortes paper published uh, just this past week the comprehensive uh, zoning plan for the city, which names that site as a heavy industrial site. Further by curious uh, coincidence, about uh, two weeks or so ago, the Anacortes City Council uh, voted to adopt a resolution establishing an open space program for the city and uh, <coughs> for the acquisition of uh, certain park areas. One of these was listed as Ship Harbor Shannon Point, which is the same area that I've just mentioned. Moreover, the city council voted to uh, request uh, federal funds to assist in the acquisition. So here you would have the, the curious situation of residential land being converted to heavy industry, uh, heavy industrial land converted to park, and the federal uh, government requested to finance both of these reversals. We asked, does it make sense? Mr. Nelson, you've, uh, you're a past president of the Association of Washington Industries, retired treasurer of the Boeing Company after 37 years, which makes you sort of pro-industry. Yet you're involved here in the fight uh, to keep an industry off Guaymas Island. How do you reconcile the two? Well, it's easy for me to reconcile this. Uh, as you said, I have, I have spent a lot of time <coughs> over the years uh, uh, trying to attract new industry to the state and uh, been fairly successful both as a member of the board of the 
governors or directors of Seattle Chamber of Commerce and, and the Association of Washington Industries. But what of the islanders who have let options be taken on their property? This indicates that uh, at least some people on Guaymas Island are not opposed. Certainly those people that uh, option their property are, are uh, real anxious that this, this uh, plant come to the island so the options can be exercised. It uh, happens to be a very small group, and uh, we don't deny them their right to sell their property to anyone that they see fit. But we do think that we have a right to protect our island when, from industry when we think this is a recreational and retirement area. What kind of reaction have you had from state government, from the governor's office? Uh, really no reaction except the governor knows that there is a real problem and I'm sure he's giving it all kinds of consideration. We, have, we are urging him to take a stand on this thing because we think that uh, industry itself will recognize that uh, a line has to be drawn somewhere where industry should go and, and certainly the San Juans is an ideal line to draw. Has Design for Washington uh, taken any steps to try to do anything here? We asked originally for help from Design for Washington as, as one of the agencies that might, might help us with our problem. And uh, uh, they have uh, indicated that they would like to have a conference of the interested parties. But as far as I know, nothing has come of it. And I gather in reading the, uh, the local weekly paper that certainly the people in Anacortes are not interested in a design for Washington discussion. Well, in my particular opinion, uh, I would feel that discussion is, is good in many cases. I feel that this issue, on the other side at least, is so ridden with emotion that I, I don't feel that discussion at this time in a forum type thing as proposed by Design for Washington Incorporated would be ad advantageous to us. We are ready and willing and always have been to work with any group towards the orderly industrial growth as well as other growth of the entire area. Uh, we still have this same feeling, but you can't work with groups uh, when everybody is aroused emotionally. I feel that we have everything to lose and nothing to gain at the moment by going into this type forum. At a later date, when things are quieted down to the point where everybody can talk rationally, I think it may be well worthwhile at that time if it's necessary then. 